your host and we're here in the upper Thames River just to the east of Kintour and we're going to be doing some fish sampling with John and Dave who are using a very unique apparatus you know I think of it as shock fishing but they don't come on we'll meet them impressive variety of fish here it means we've got pretty good water quality you know if it was totally dominated by uh, carp and, and uh, a few of the other minnow species then we, we know we, we had poor water quality but with this kind of variety we've got pretty good conditions here mm -hmm. rock bass oh yeah we've got a big rock bass here yeah that's a rock bass yeah that would be a good size rock bass there put it right by the camera so we can see it and We've been fishing, now let's find out why water quality of this stream in Upper Thames Conservation Authority is very important. To do that, we need a pro. Karen, welcome to Innovation Oxford. You're about uh, to talk to us about a watershed report. Yes, um, this, uh, what I have here is the 2012 watershed report card. Uh, this one is specifically for the Middle Thames water. Some of the main factors that are helping to improve water quality are improvements in wastewater treatment across the watershed. Mm -hmm. We have 22 wastewater treatment plants. Um, improvements in practices uh, on the landscape around agriculture, uh, just domestic septic, uh, just, septic systems, yeah, yeah. Uh, those sorts of things. Uh, hazardous waste programs run mm -hmm. by the counties. Mm -hmm. uh, just more education really around what should go, what should not go into the water, what should not be dumped down a, a storm drain. Yeah. And there's three indicators of forest conditions for the watershed. One is percent forest cover, and that's just how much forest there is in a watershed or an area. Number two is forest interior, that means how big are the forests. And number three is where are the forests, how well vegetated are our rivers with forests around them. And when you add all those indicators together, we only get a D. And that's a D is the average grade for the Upper Thames. We're in southwestern Ontario, we only have around 11 or 12 percent mm -hmm. forest cover left, so that is a lower grade. To get a B, for example, 30 percent forest cover is what the naturalists are saying we need to sustain our native plants and animals. growing here in a number of years. and we've of course been down to his replanted uh, pine forest. Tell us, what is your interest in trees? Uh, very good question, but uh, this was a hilly farm and uh, it used to be pasture and so on. And uh, when it, we started thinking about erosion, we thought trees would be a, a better crop. And uh, I guess I love trees too. Of what we do is, is with private landowners and with farmers or, or agricultural producers doing things like planting trees that you've seen a lot of, um, erosion control projects, uh, building berms and terraces, grass waterways across properties, uh, really to protect the soil from rainfall and runoff events and, and keep it where it should be so that it's used for agricultural production. Mm -hmm. 